Hey, it's Benji, and I am really excited to be joined by Raul Malo from the Mavericks. Raul, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I got to tell you, we are loving this record. This is, uh, we actually are playing a couple of cuts from it already. And uh, yeah, it just got released. Amazing, man. Thank you. Thank you for that. (laughs) <laughs> I, so uh, uh, we'll start off with the easy questions and kind of work our way into the uh, more challenging ones. But um, sure. now you guys have been doing this since 1989. You know, a few breaks here, a few breaks there. But this is the first time I was actually shocked that you did an entire album in Spanish. Why now? What was it that made you decide 2020, the craziest year in, uh, in history, <laughs> is the perfect time to release a Spanish record? Yeah, <laughs> I, believe me, it's it, it's a head scratcher. But you know, from from the beginning, you know, we we've we've always done things a little differently, uh, and, and kind of gone against the grain. At, at, and and sooner or later, you know, uh, I mean, you you just uh, you know, you learn to appreciate that, and you learn to uh, and 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 with this album in particular, with the 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 thing that we that we stressed from the moment we started recording it, because it was a process, you know, we, you first put the songs together, you start to formulate an idea of how you want the arrangements to go and this and that. And, and then it starts to, and then it goes from that, from just a, a concept on paper to physical recordings and, and actual, you know, getting, getting into the, 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 the nitty gritty of it. And the one thing that we stressed from the beginning, from the first note that we played from the, from the first moment in the studio was we're not going to put a time limit on it, you know, because it didn't really, we didn't need it to tour. We didn't need to release it to coincide with a tour. We were doing other stuff to, to do that. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so we just, we just like, you know, let's just start recording. Let's just, we have a, I have a, a somewhat of a, a loose list of songs and, and let's just start recording and that'll inspire other songs and other ideas. And so we just started the process yeah. and um, lo and behold, man, you know, and in sticking true to like, okay, let's not, you know, let's not put a time limit on it. Let's uh, cause at one point we were going to release it last year, but I didn't feel that the record was complete. Hmm. You know, it was still missing something. Okay. And I don't know, I didn't know what, you know, you just have, I, I go with those hunches and you learn to trust them after a while. You know, you just kind of know when, when, you, when you're, you know, when you're, you know, when your dish is ready, you know, yeah. you're a chef, you're an artist, you know, when, when it's complete, when your building is complete, when your painting is done, you, you just know when it's done. And, and this was very much the same way. It didn't feel complete. And so um, we, we finished the session we finished the last recording session. The very last day was the day that we recorded. And this was in February where we recorded, uh, it was the weekend. We recorded Poder Vivir, which is one of the singles and one of the, one of the songs that, one of the original songs. And we recorded on the last afternoon that we had in the studio, the last minute where everybody was together, we recorded La Sitiera. Hmm. And, and then and once once we we had finished that session, at that point I knew then that then we were done, and and I knew that once we had La Sitiera, that that was going to be the 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 start of the record. That was going to be the introduction for for many who maybe have never heard of the Mavericks, and this is their first uh, their first foray into into what the Mavericks do, and 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 I just thought that was a beautiful way to start this 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 new journey this 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 adventure and so um you know it it true to form it really did take all of that time for it to be finished you know as as it is now yeah. and so i'm so glad we did that and then of course you know uh a month later <laughs> the 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 world stopped in its tracks and but you know wh- having you know, taking all that into consideration and this being such a personal record, you know, uh, and, and, and knowing that in, that in, in, in my lifetime, you know, it, it, you know, people forget that we've, we've been through tough things before, you know, I, it, we went through 9-11, 9-11, there were, there weren't even any interviews being done. There was no music being played, no records to be made, no music to be had anywhere. Yeah. And, 
you know, and we got through it. And we got through it because of music, because of the arts, because of the artists, um, because of poetry, because of literature and, and culture and, and, and the arts. And, and, and so when there's darkness and, and, and music and art, I think, leads us to leads us to the light it com you know music comforts us as it accompanies us and we just thought you know what this is when this record is done and maybe it's just meant to come out at this time and 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 certainly it's a roll of the dice for sure we had no idea i mean it's a roll of the dice anyways it's a spanish record but you know um uh, after after it being out and 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 getting number one on the Billboard uh, Latin Pop charts and and it's number three on iTunes and it's uh and and the coverage that I've gotten internationally has been uh, has been incredible because I've spent the last couple of weeks uh, just speaking to international journalists and so they're they're loving the record and. And you know, it maybe maybe it, it it is the right time to 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 release this record, or at least it's it's this record's time to 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 be heard in this moment at 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 this point in in this journey. And and so we just, for all those reasons, um, you know, and then some, we we just we kept at it and just went ahead with it. Very nice. Yeah, you know, I got to tell you, it's the one record that my wife and I have been playing consistently. And it's, it's a great record to enjoy coffee to in the morning. It's a great record to cook dinner to in the evening. It's just a complete record. And it, it, it is um, a distraction uh, from what's going on outside of our doors. And uh, it's a welcome distraction. And it's one that you're absolutely right. Music has that healing power. And uh, this record has a lot of uh, health behind it. So uh, well done. Now, half the records are, half of the songs on here are original and half are covers. Um, you know, obviously you're bi bilingual. Yeah. I got to ask, uh, is it uh, more challenging to write a song in Spanish or English? Well, it's, it's, they're challenging either way. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be fair. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but certainly, um, you know, I spent my, my entire life writing in English and singing in English and, and I've got no problem singing in other languages because, you know, you can listen and phonetically you can pick it up. Luckily, I'm, I'm fluent in Spanish and, and fluent enough to speak it uh, in interviews and, and uh, in conversations and whatnot. But of course, writing it is a, is a different story and writing songs is... But, you know, with, with the, the advent of time and no, no pressure to, to get the music done in, in, in a timely manner, you know, I had time to explore ideas and, and, and learn and woodshed. And I also surrounded myself with some very talented uh, young Cuban musicians, you know, that, uh, um, for example, Lisette Diaz, who sings on the, on the record with me, she's, she's the vocalist uh, in the Cuban rock band that uh, they're featured in our Havana Time Machine uh, PBS documentary. We met during that session we brought them over we signed them to our label and they have a they have a record out and they're they're recording and of course you know trying to trying to stay connected as best they can uh but she's a she's an amazing singer and an amazing writer and of course her command of the language is much stronger than mine as as uh you know born and raised in cuba all her life and she speaks perfect english as well so it was it was a great uh it was a great uh, uh, creative uh, collaboration. And uh, so I, you know, re I wrote some with her. I wrote some with my, my buddy Alejandro uh, Menendez Vega, who is, uh, he's also our very talented videographer, cinematographer, and, and, uh, and kind of an overall Renaissance guy. And, and so we wrote uh, some of the lyrics for, for some of the, some of the songs as, as well. And, and you know when you surround yourself with with young creative talent like that it's it's it really makes the process uh, a lot more fun and um you know uh, to to have them to have them uh, part of this project and part of this creative uh process has has been uh, has been a real treat but yeah. but that that and they helped you know they helped immensely in 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 the collaborations and the writing of these songs 
Yeah, and, you know, and, uh, along with the, the the young guard, you also had some established music. I, I love that Flacco yeah. Jimenez is on the yeah. record too. That anytime I hear Flacco, I mean, yeah. that always puts a smile on my face. And I was thinking as I was listening to this, I mean, there are so many great styles of Spanish music that's out there right now. You know, Tejon and uh, Tex-Mex and, uh, you know, uh, do you have a favorite style uh, that uh, you, you wanted to represent on this? Man, you know, um, <laughs> uh, let me mention Flaco and then I'll talk about that because sure. uh, it, it, Flaco is such an integral part of this journey. Uh, that started in 1995 when he came into the studio and we had the uh, our, 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 our co-producer at the time, Don Cook, had this crazy idea to bring in Flaco Jimenez to play on this song that was sounding very Texas and very uh, it's sort of this, this mix of, of all these things. And, and you know, I, I, uh, <clears throat> I was starting, starting to discover... Um, before that, I had already discovered Doug Som and, and the Texas Tornadoes and, and the Sir Douglas Quintet and all this border radio stuff. And, and uh, so I was starting to, to formulate an idea of like what I think the Mavericks should, should, should maybe uh, the, a direction that maybe, maybe it'd be fun. It, it's, I was always looking for that thread that, that kind of that connects all genres of music. And, and, uh, and so here comes Flacco with his accordion and, uh, and we recorded the song, All You Ever Do Is Bring Me Down, which became our, one of our biggest numbers. Um, and still to this day, one of our most important songs in that it closes the show every night. And, and what Flacco did, what that recording did and, 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 having Flacco featured on, on that, uh, on the video and on that single, it set us on this journey that, that brought us really full circle now to, to, uh, an Espanol. And that's why I was so thrilled when we, when we made, we put the call out to Flacco to see if he could come play, not only come play on our record, but come play on the Juan Gabriel, um, uh, no vale la pena, which is just he's a Mexican icon, of course, and and to have him, to have Flaco be a part of that that track was a really really uh, poignant and special moment for me, but also for our accordion player Michael Guerra, who's an immense talent, uh, uh, you know, uh, of his own right, and uh, uh, and and uh, to have his idol Flaco right alongside him on this track is. Uh, it was really special, That's and cool. uh, and so so I, I you know I, I I thank Flacco for that, and 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 I thank him for for really starting us on this journey uh, uh, so many years ago. Yeah. Now, did you guys? It was, this is the first time you worked with him uh, when uh, you worked with him on the Low Super Seven record, or uh, did you know him previous to that? I knew him. Um, I knew him. Well, I knew of him for sure. Yeah, sure. Um, and then. I don't remember the timeline. I I got a call to sing on one of his solo records, mm. and it and we did a video in at Green Hall, which was the first time I had been to Green Hall, and this was in sometime in the early '90s, and I think it was a song called "Seguro Que Hell Yes," and then <laughs> nice. I think after that is when either he came up to Nashville or he had already come to Nashville, and I returned the favor uh, down there. I don't remember exactly the timeline. Oh, um, we we were drinking a little bit back then, you know, to say the least. <laughs> and, uh, All right, that's uh, it, it's you know, and that's the that's the other thing about this record. It sounds like you guys just had a ball making this record. I mean, you really can hear the enthusiasm coming through uh, the recordings, and it sounds like uh, you know, uh, you you just. Um, you were meant to make this record. Uh, I mean, it, it, it wasn't really that much fun putting this thing together. Man, it was it was a, a labor of of love and sure. and passion from from the beginning, from its inception to to its completion. And um, yeah. and we wanted it that way. We knew that this record, in order for it to, in order for this record to have a chance, it had to be something different. It had to be special. It had to be it had to be focused and energized and that starts from the beginning from its inception you know and and the not putting the just that simple fact of not putting any pr timeline on it not putting any pressure on 
on ourselves to to finish it on on the songwriting on the creative side let the creative lead lead the business side let 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 the let when when the album is done and when it's complete that's that's when it goes out into the world it happens to be at this point right now so be it yeah. but uh that's that's just the way it worked out but i think that because we took our time and because there was so much you know so much effort put into it i think i think it it ultimately that's how and that's why it resonates with people now, along those same lines, uh, you know, obviously the band has to handle things quite a bit differently. Uh, are you working on new material now? Are there plans for a tour when things finally open up? Uh, how are the Mavericks handling this situation right now? And what are the plans for the future? Well, you know, uh, as, as you can imagine, for, for, for not only ourselves, but for every musician, every touring musician, you know, this year has has been a blow and um and uh that there's no doubt about that but we early on we we uh we we real we realized what was going to happen and and sort of kept our ear to the ground and really kind of uh kept watching uh, kept staying in touch with our with our with the promoters and the agents and just to see what the word was in the industry and and early on it was apparent that there was not going to be any touring this year mm. um and so we we decided to pivot and we decided to to concentrate our efforts in like okay instead of instead of um, you know going out and touring and promoting this record instead what has happened is is because of this pandemic and because we're stuck at home it's actually allowed us to promote this record like we've never promoted an album because for example just this simple conversation our 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 afternoon conversation here that we're having yeah if we were on tour it it'd be difficult to have it'd be difficult yeah. to schedule and it more than likely probably wouldn't happen so uh the 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 this if there's a silver lining in 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 all of this you know i mean not to make light of of this pandemic because my gosh you know there's there's a lot of carnage out there and there's a lot of suffering um but you know we 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 have to be cognizant not only of that but we also have to be aware that that we need a business to return to um because that is our livelihood and if and um and um you know we're we're doing everything we can to stay connected with fans stay stay healthy stay safe um and uh you know it, the the record of course is available on all the platforms uh but, but what i was what i was alluding to earlier you know a minute ago when 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 i was talking about pivoting was we we uh instead of touring and and, and all the and gearing all our mechanism and all our focus on on getting from point a to point b as you do on a on a on a, on a tour yep. your our energies went to recording um <clears throat> recording these pay-per-view events um Ooh. that are available on the uh, on the streaming platform nugs.tv and the first one aired last month uh we've got a second one coming up uh, on that's going to air september the 19th right. and we've got it up on all our socials and and people can sign up for it and basically what it is is instead of going out on tour we got together and and basically recorded uh, television shows, you know, that, that are going to air once a month. And uh, we'd like to continue to do them even when we start to tour because they're, they're immensely fun to do. And it's a great way to showcase young artists. And, and, uh, and it's a great way to stay connected with fans um, in a safe, uh, you know, in a safe way. And, and, uh, and it's a heck of a lot of fun for us. And I think, and I think for the fans too, because we get to play different kinds of music. We get to showcase this album and we get to showcase young artists and, and it's, and it, they're, they have been a lot of fun and that, you know, so it's something to, to keep us connected and, and at least, uh, at least, uh, you know, pass the time while, while all this thing, uh, while this thing rages on. Good, man. Well, we'll definitely uh, make sure that uh, we actually have a virtual concert calendar on our website. So I'll make sure uh, any of your shows are up there so people can definitely check them out when they have the time. And uh, that's that's awesome. Now, thank uh, you. Man. Thank you. Yeah. As long as uh, as long as you've been, you know, kind of 
dealing with the pandemic? Have you picked up any new hobbies or got to refine any old ones or you're learning any cooking, picking up a, a third language or anything like that? <laughs> Man, you know, it's funny that you mentioned that. I, um, I actually, I, I've, I've, I've gotten a, I got a Pro Tools uh, system at, at home. So I've learned to, to uh, engineer and record and uh, in, in a very, in a very uh, professional way, which, which has been nice. Uh, I've taken an online photography course. Um, uh, I've read books. <laughs> you know, I've 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 tried not to get my wife mad at me. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've learned to avoid. <laughs> uh, and um, and you know, uh, for the uh, for the first time, I think in a long time, I've actually I've actually gotten to enjoy like the springtime uh here in nashville you know when uh obviously during the time of the lockdown like it was and and i i i realized like i never really get to enjoy springtime we're always on the road and so it was it was really kind of nice to sit outside and have some coffee and watch the birds play and play with the dogs and and um so you know i can I, i i'm obviously i mean i'm very fortunate you know and and i thank my lucky stars that i have I have a room up here that I can, that I can kind of get away from everybody and, and create and play music and, and, uh, but you know, we've maintained the family safe. Uh, my mom was living with us for a minute. Um, and we kept her safe and she's in a v- very vulnerable group. And, and, uh, so, you know, all in all, we're, we're, we're doing all right. You know, yeah. we're, we're, this is the longest my family has ever spent with me, by the way, yeah. Good. <laughs> I feel bad for them. <laughs> Sounds like time well spent, that's for sure. Well, I mean, honestly, uh, we're anxious to get you back on the road, and I'm sure you guys are too. And uh, I, I know you guys always make Colorado a, a stop. And, uh, you know, this is the first time you and I have got to speak. So you're absolutely right that, uh, you know, this is a real treat for me too. And I've gotten to know a lot of musicians uh, because of this pandemic as well. So I guess we're, you know, making uh, lemonade out of lemons right now, which... Hey, you know, man, listen, pe- people are, are listening, they're watching, yeah. and, and uh, you know, it, like I said before, in times of darkness, you know, music music, uh, music shows us a little bit of light and, and gives us hope, and, and uh, you're doing it, you know, you're, you're, you're doing your show, I'm doing my thing, and, and, uh, and, and I think that's important to keep doing that during this time. Absolutely is. So thank you so much for spending some time with me, man. That was a real treat. And, uh, you know, I wish I was in Nashville at the Americana <laughs> Music Fest hanging out with yeah. you again. But uh, next year, right? Next year, baby. Right. Can you imagine the party? Oh, <laughs> it's going to be... It's, I don't uh, think uh, people aren't going to survive the party. They survived COVID. They're not going to survive the party. Yeah, the party's going to kill us all. I agree with that for sure. Well, I'm looking forward to it. If I'm going to go out, that's a great way to go that's out. That's a good I'll go out that way too, man. I'll all go right. out that way. Anyways. All right. Hey, thanks again, Rob. Really Thank you, Benji. You all right. Take care. Yeah, man. See you later. Right. Okay. Bye-bye. That's all I needed, my man. So uh, I'll let you get back to your day and... Uh, Really appreciate your time. And, and like I said, offer stands. Come back and visit us anytime. We're going to be playing Mavericks records as long as you're, you're putting them out, okay? Thank you, brother. Thank you, All man. Right. You I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye.